This is the Geekery Update with Alan and Brian. I'm Alan. And I am Brian. Yes, that you are. Am I, though? Uh, are you? I don't know. Yeah, I just have a uh, right behind me. This is actually the Spider Man game. I was on. Sorry, I am literally trying to do this. So that is the Freedom Tower right there. Let me see if this, I can get back. This to is for PlayStation 4, right? Yeah, so Spider Man is a PlayStation exclusive game. Where am I? Okay. There we go. Yeah, because Sony owns Spider Man, they're just in partnership with Disney for the MCU. But Sony owns right. Spider Man, in which it's Sony PlayStation. That is correct. This is really hard to play looking in the TV. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this is this is the Spider-Man game. Uh, let me just... There we go. That's the Freedom Tower. There, now I'm making progress. Once I get up here, I'm going to actually give you guys... Because from my understanding, the, the map looks like almost identical. So this is New York City, ladies and gentlemen. This is the financial district. It's I mean, it's laid out just like Manhattan. So then you have, like, the borough, you have uh, uh, Hell's Kitchen, um, et cetera. Then you have, like, Manhattan region that people are accustomed with, with stuff like uh, uh, Empire State Building, the Chrysler Tower. Um, they have Os uh, Madison Square Garden, wow, right there. Oscorp Tower is right there, Avengers Tower. So they do have a couple fictional buildings. Okay. Um, for the basis of the story. We'll just go over here real quick. This will be our quick little journey for the day. God, I forgot which one I had with this game. The reason I'm coming here, you're going to see in just a second, is because they have a ton of Easter eggs in this game. And we're going to one of them. This one is my favorite one that I found that I didn't know was in the game until I stumbled across it. Is see that sanctorium, yes, sir. Doctor Strange is HQ. Yes, sir. Doctor Strange is in the Spider-Man game. So yeah, my point being with all that is Miles Morales Spider-Man game comes out on November twelfth. Uh, the first reviews came out just a couple days ago, actually, and they they were all remarkable. Um, IGN gave it a nine out of ten. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers, but the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 game, the original one, the one that, that one right there. Right. Um, that one actually won game of the year for quite a few magazines. Miles Morales, about 75, 80% through the game, he picks up this box and inside this box, the spider crawls, crawls up a sleeve and then eventually bites his neck. Right. Okay. We don't know where this spider came from. We just know it came from this box. So fast forward to the end of the game, you beat the game and they have two end credit scenes. One of them is Miles Morales is talking to Peter Parker. Peter Parker and Miles Morales are talking and Miles is trying to explain to him like, I'm having these changes. And Peter Parker's starting to panic because he's like, oh God, this kid's going through puberty and he doesn't have a dad. Like I'm the best thing he's got. That's, you can see that they do a really good job playing it. Okay. And then Miles Morales is all of a sudden like, check this out, jumps on the ceiling and sticks. And Peter Parker sits there. He's like, all right, and does the same thing. And that's pretty much the scene. Okay. So this game, this new Miles Morales game, to my understanding, takes place one year after the events of this place, this one. Okay. Um, and the city of New York is very aware that there are now two Spider-Mans. There's one that looks like this. And then there's the black Miles Morales suit with the red, with the which is such a wicked suit. Love it. Some of the cool things I do want to talk about is one of the suits that you acquire at some point in the game, you get a cat that goes in the backpack, and the cat actually will jump out and attack villains while you're attacking them. Oh, nice. So that's a, that's a pretty cool perk suit you have with that. Um, um, some Miles Morales powers that people I'm not sure know about is he can go invisible, so he can turn invisible. Yeah, uh, he has the ability to send out like electromagnetic currents, not necessarily electro type voltage shocks, but he can shock. He can shock you. He can make you go, "Dang, son, uh -huh. we do not do that in this part of town." Oh!